how's this for a good look? Wearing silly glasses are the least of Zach Williams' worries, especially since they play a necessary role in helping him. Back in the summer of 2011, this now grade 5 student was bitten on the face by a pit bull while visiting a friend's house. Since then, he's been scarred both physically and emotionally by the horrific incident. To know that your child's face and throat were in the mouth of an animal that could have killed him, it's tough. Um, and that's, that's what the scar is a reminder of. The scar is also a reminder of some of the online bullying that we experienced after the fact. Um, you know, there were people who said what happened to him was nothing more than a nip. Uh, and that scar on his face is a constant reminder of that, of, of the lack of compassion and empathy that some people show. After hearing the story, Katherine Johnson, a local resident and mother, wanted to help, but didn't know how. That is, until she opened Advantage Body Clinic, which specializes in laser treatments, usually for cellulite or stretch marks, but can help to reduce any type of scarring. It could be a car accident, it could have been a dog bite. There are many things that happen to people and they want it erased. They don't want that reminder every day. So that was one of the key things we were looking for and that dog bite resonated with me. The clinic has taken on the cost of the procedure which would normally total around $1,000 and take six treatments to notice a difference. I'm hoping to get at least a 50 to 70 percent reduction in the scar. If we need to do additional treatments in order to get a better reduction, we're willing to do it. It stings a little bit on second and third pass, but it's the first pass that just you, you barely feel it at all. A few seconds of sting for a lifetime of change, both for Zach and his family. So much of this is the psychological impact. You know, even if it's just half of, of what it is right now, um, it just shows us how deeply some people really, truly feel about helping others. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.